Marcel Mar Marci Marcilis Dock Strikes. Marseille, is it Marseille? Is that how you pronounce it? Dock Strikes. Card number seven, the French connection. So Marseille, Marseille dock strikes. Right. The French connection, and there's a movie called The French Connection, which is really good. Marseille, Marseille. Thank you, Allah God. Card number seven, the French connection. Having found the Sicilian mafia useful during World War II, the U.S. government again turned to organized crime. In its post-war battle against European communists in November 1947 wildcat strikes erupted all over France and in Marseille the vital port city which was the stronghold of French communists 80,000 striking workers paralyzed the city the newly formed CIA sent agents of a psychological warfare team there to meet with Corsican underworld leaders such as Anton and Barthelini uh, the CIA supplied money and arms to the Jirini brothers to assault uh, for assaults on picket lines and union leaders finally breaking the strike a month later in 1950 another strike was similarly defeated leaving control of marseille's dock to corsican gangsters within a year marseille's heroin labs run by the Jirini, Jirinis and others were in full operation by 1965 america's heroin addict addict population largely supplied by these labs had grown from 10,000 to 150,000 at first most of the opium supply for Marseille labs came from Turkey but as time passed Southeast Asia's golden triangle became the main source France had a colonial outpost there from 19 from 1890s until 1954 when it was replaced by the US as the colonial power in the region during the first Indochina war 1946 to 1954 French intelligence working closely with Corsican narcotics syndicates took over the opium traffic to finance their operations after the French left the Corsicans remained and until 1965 these syndicates led by Bonaventure Rock Francis Francisi who had ties with the Jirinis and his airline Air Laos Commercial Air Opium quote Air Opium provided drug transport to markets in Bangkok and Saigon and just a note regarding the US government uh, shipping weapons and providing training to um, the mafia in France to prevent that region from uh, unionizing further and you know getting adequate work and pay and compensation for their workers and uh, to fight against so-called communism that was prevalent at the time rising at the time this same operations are sort of going on in Mexico as well they occurred under the Obama administration in a big way look into fast and furious where the United States was shipping automatic and semi-automatic weapons supplying automatic and semi-automatic weapons to Mexican drug cartels okay during the Obama administration so this practice still continues to this day to this day 